Shepard there and solid gold. It is Country Viewpoint on Flow FM. And earlier I caught up with Graham Massey, who is the mayor of the Yarriambiak Shire Council. We spoke about a number of issues. If you're just tuning in, we spoke about recycling a little bit earlier on. But now we're going to talk about the Silo Art Trail, not necessarily the silo art works themselves, but the actual phrase itself. Now, it looks as though the Ariambiac Shire Council has applied to get the trademark for Silo Art Trail, and this is, uh, as Graham explains, simply because they would like some recognition that uh, Silo Art Trails began with them first. Well, yeah, certainly the trail began in Ariambiac Shire. I think the, the, the trademarking application has been in the pipeline with... Um, the Intellectual Property Australia uh, for the last at least three years, and, it, and it's um, working its way up their list of uh, cases they have to hear. And uh, so, all, we, all we're asking for is historical recognition that the, the term Silo Art Trail began in Yarriambekshire, so that when uh, other towns uh, use the term, that they, they recognise and acknowledge that um, Northwest Victoria and you know, it was the uh, original uh, silo art trail, and, and perhaps you, if we do get a trademark, it does need to just acknowledge that and, and recognise that Yerry and Beck Shire was the, was the first. Uh, we've had a little bit of media coverage. Um, it's not ongoing at the moment, but it wasn't instigated by us. We, we were sort of caught on the hop, worrying why there was a major concern. But, yeah, we don't make any money out of it. We've... We really have helped every other town that's wanted a silo painted. We're on pretty good terms with Juddy Roller, who provide the artists. And, uh, yeah, our staff have been very hopeful. Hope, and it's really just so that, you know, if a brochure's printed uh, from a town that's got a silo and uh, they want to use the term silo art trail, that they just say, well, you know, the silo art trail began in Yarry and Beck Shire. Right. That, that's it. So that's how it would work in practice. We're not, we're not talking about uh, getting anyone in front of a judge, no court, uh, yeah. no fines or any of that sort of stuff. It's really just about uh, making sure that um, it, it's a way of of getting uh, council some recognition, I guess. Well, it is. It's, it's um, yeah. It, 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 well, it can disappear over time, Jason. Mm. Uh, there are more and more silos coming up, and. A, a, a trail is a, is actually a term that uses it. You're supposed to connect one silo to the next silo to the next silo. And we have a, tr- a trail of six silos. Uh, our tourist board, which includes the neighbouring shires, we've added Nullawool and we're going to add Albacaccia to it. So that'll make eight silos. And, and it is a loop that, or, that, that can be done. So you can go up and around and come back. Yep. Uh, so it is a trail. So it's not just a... a Silo art, it's a silo art trail. So that, that's not the term that we would have wanted um, recognition for. Interesting, isn't it? Uh, I don't know, do you have a problem with that? What are your thoughts on a council owning the trademark to the term silo art trail? Let us know your thoughts either via our Facebook page, Flow FM Australia, or you can send me an email direct to news at flowfm.com.au.